here we go, boys. Frame by frame, the entire trailer breaking down everything that was shown. So we have our first shot, zombies running in uh, to our characters. Looks like some sort of ethereal something going on over there. Not sure exactly what that is. Um zooms in we have our first look at the operator so it looks like there's not going to be like a set crew it's going to be like you get to pick your own characters in zombies and of course you can play as woods it looks like from the very end so we have our pack a punch weapons confirmed um this is a shot that we see later on we'll talk about it in a second with these ethereal grenades uh we have our characters running and then we have that trap going off so let's just listen to this first part here who could have guessed that when the undead first appeared in Call of Duty World at War, that it would lead us here to today. From that moment, Zombies sparked a love for fighting the undead, bringing its unique DNA to the Call of Duty experience. Whether you're playing solo or co-op, working to solve puzzles or unlock Easter eggs, facing wave after wave of the undead okay, so delivers Easter eggs fast coming back. action Confirmed. with just one objective. Confirmed, 100%. Goodbye. Okay, so we have another shot here of this kind of main... So this room they keep showing, right? This is kind of that main power room that they keep showing. We get these zombies. They obviously look a lot like the classic zombies. War sets the stage for a new zombies experience that not only celebrates our entire zombies heritage, but uses it as an inspiration to build a completely new chapter in our universe. Today. So we have our characters. So this is obvious, maybe the intro storyline. So this is the guy filming that you see this tape from during the trailer. He's filming all the all the soldiers walking in, and we actually see this come back here in a second. Cover the characters. They go into Nocturne and Toten, with, and they find they find this machine. With members of the development team, some of whom have quite literally helped to build it one zombie at a time. But first, let's check out the world. All right, let's see this trailer again. Zombies gameplay trailer. And let's. This is where we're gonna get, be getting ninety percent of the breakdown. This is where all the juicy stuff is. So actually, it may seem like this. She's one of the main characters. You just have the option to play as one of the operators because she seems like an important story character, as does Weaver. The graphics look so good. I love the way the cutscenes look. And if they bring this quality of cutscene into the game for like the ending cutscene and the in intro cutscene, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good, dude. Sam, what have you done? So her name is Sam. Yo, Samantha Maxis. Yo, Samantha Maxis. Wait, wait, do we think this is Samantha Maxis? A oh, mad dude. Hold on, hold on. No. Okay, we don't we don't really see her face what yet. Hold on. Done? What have you done? So we have her giving Weaver a package. What? So th th this is the this is what we got from the reveal right here. Uh watch the tape. Her accent does sound like it could be Samantha. Wait! That could be grown up Samantha. I just got chills. That actually could be bro gro grown up Samantha. This looks interesting right here. Like I don't know what this means, but that could be that could be extremely interesting right there. I don't know what that little grid tic tac toe thing looks like. What the hell? Okay, so this hell is the first shot we get of that camera crew in there with this ethereal ether, dark ether. So we got the zombie attack. Okay, this is the this is the little uh, you, you know what I'm talking about the the teaser that we got. Another shot of the teaser. So they the zombies attack this camera crew. They all die. They're the people that we saw during the uh, the early Easter egg stuff. Zombie attack. Yada yada yada. They all die. It's happening again. It's happening again. You know who else would say it might be happening again? Samantha Maxis. Samantha Maxis. So these are our operators actually going into the bunker. Bro, if it's Samantha, I'll lose it. Roger. Moving. So 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 it's confirmed. Let's get the power on. That's the only time this map is dark. So we, we were pretty much right with whenever the guy was going around with the pistol and the flashlight, that was when the power is off when you first go into the bunker. What was that? Okay. This is Te mystery box spawn location but instead of teddy bears it's these little bloody rabbits here and the yellow eyes means she is controlling him true and that, that could be very very possible holy cow dude Sometimes and then we get the uh, the song cutting in really good song choice i really like the song choice for this uh we get this little glowing arrow uh, arrow over here is this what the power looks like so they're, they're just they're just creeped out by uh 
the zombies. Obviously, then the first zombie attack happens. We get shots of the zombies. They look incredible. Really like the zombies models so far. So far. So far. Uh, obviously, we get another shot of character shooting at them. Barbed wire on the zombies. Right here. Little Mob of the Dead reference, maybe? Possibly. Zombies surrounding them right there. Uh, obviously, four-player confirmed again. A little radio-looking thing in the background. Another radio-looking thing here that could possibly be... Uh, what was... What was? This looks like kind of like where Richtofen just randomly stands up over his body. I don't know. That that That's a little interesting, that little shot there. What the hell just happened? So this is power. So this little button right here, that looks like power. They showed this button during the trailer as well. So turn on the power, power comes on. This is the best shot I think in the entire trailer of this main area of whatever this is. It could be just like an electricity system. It could be like, it could be like a particle accelerator. It's like a circle. It could be, I, I don't know what else. Like something is built under Nocturne and Toten that obviously we didn't know was there, was there before. Uh, zombies obviously attack. So this confirms the dark area is only when the power is off. It's underneath Nocturne and Toten, yeah. Uh, so that portal right there, I don't know. That kind of looks actually where Pack-a-Punch spawns from a later shot. So this, that portal in the background could be where Pack-a-Punch spawns. Zombies, as always, looking great. Let's go! Um, so this right here is like a Gersh device gun. Shoots it and it like spawns one of those portals. And there's another one of those portals back here. So it looks like you can shoot it multiple times, maybe. Could be a teleporter as well, very possibly. So shoots the RPG. Obviously, we got the RPG. Absolutely annihilates a horde right there. Let's see if we can see anything, anything special here. So, oh, here, here's the first shot we get of the, uh, of the, of the turret. So here's the turret. This turret is going to be obviously one of the traps that you can use in the uh in the game or maybe it's one of the kill streaks it could be one of the because we as we know kill streaks are in the game now for zombies okay and then we get this green glow is that a power up that looks like an insta kill chat does that right there look like an insta kill to you i think it's a kill streak yeah because that that right there looks like looks like a kill streak um okay trayer just tweeted out as well oh here we go uh new story with a fresh uh new beginning with a fresh story and new ways to play set in the 1980s it's an opportunity to elevate the entire zombies experience while paying homage to everything that made zombies so damn fun to begin with welcome to the first chapter of, of the dark ether story welcome to d machine okay and then they included a link i think that's just the trailer link oh that, that's just the zombies first look so it is called the Dark Ether Story. Let's go, dude. At the end of Black Ops 4, our heroes sacrificed themselves to collapse the multiverse. They hoped their actions would create a new world, one free from the forces of darkness that had played their existence. They were half right. So Craig says that. You'll play as members of Requiem, a CIA-backed international response team led by Grigori Reaver. Under his guidance, your team is tasked with investigating and suppressing the unnatural phenomena occurring below the, the, uh, in the facility below, no matter the cost. The map name is confirmed to be D-Machine. Requiem features a... Uh, Oh, uh, th that's in the trailer. All the co classic zombies elements are here. Round-based survival, fan favorite perks, the pack and punch machines, wall buys, mystery box, and more. We're up in the ante with new mechanics and features to, uh, for everyone to enjoy. Cross-play, cross-gen, cross-progression, battle pro battle pass progression in zombies, upgrade upgradable perks, gunsmith loadouts, weapon rarities, field upgrades, support weapons, optional exfil, intel tracking, and free post-launch content. What, dude, weapon rarities, upgradable perks. What does that mean, dude? Upgradable perks? Excuse me? Chat. Dude, it's like perma perks. <gasps> and then we got some new screenshots. We got some we got some new screenshots as well. Look at that. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, that looks so good. Oh my god. That's the dark. So is that the dark ether? I think we I think we see a shot of the dark ether in zombies. Or, or in the trailer. I think that's the dark ether. 
Also, I'm tweeting out right now three other screenshots. Okay, I just tweeted out. So if you guys want to be on stream, go retweet that tweet. I just tweeted out these images right here. Bro, what is that zombie? And what are these zombies? <laughs> what in the world? Okay, let's keep going in the trailer. Let's keep going in the trailer. We've got a lot more to cover. It looks Raven the Redwoods, bro, a little bit, but it's the dark ether. So I infinitely care about it more. Oh, also, also, I think that shot might be the, uh, the specialty zombie. So this thing splits. It's like a splitter zombie. You see it like collapse into two zombies right there. It kind of looks like a catalyst zombies from BO4 a little bit. Deadshot. So the, the perks have an entirely new look. Obviously, they're in cans that we see in a second, but Deadshot Daiquiri right there looks incredible. Look how much better that looks than the old fashioned way. Bro, it looks actually so, so, so much better. <laughs> it looks so much better. Uh, here we have the nuke that we saw from that teaser trailer as well. More zombie killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. That wasn't in the trailer. Hold the phone. <laughs> Wait. Why did that just happen in my editing program? Okay, where were we? Where were we? Right here. Uh, <laughs> I'm in zombies chat. I'm in zombies. It's insane. Okay, we, we have the shot of uh, Deadshot Daiquiri there. Beautiful. They run out of the bunker, so obviously you can be outside Nocturne Totem. It looks like you can actually, like, go on top of the roof maybe as well. I love the graffiti on Nocturne Totem. Gives it a really fresh feel. Uh, more zombie shooting. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, he's on the roof of Nocturne Totem right there. Uh, more zombie shooting. Wall buys are back. Looks like an RK7 type gun right there. Wall buys are back, confirmed. Uh, which is cool. We've got. Cr Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> Holy f. <laughs> okay, right here, right here. Okay, I, I know what button to not press. Okay, don't press enter anymore. Don't press enter anymore. I see. Um. All right, mystery box obviously back. It just it doesn't show it cycling through the weapons or anything like that. Uh, but obviously this is the new Wonder Weapon, looks, which looks basically like a BFG from sh from Z Doom. It has the little dial on here. I was about to point at my screen. I'm an idiot. It has the little dial on here from uh, the, the jet gun. So maybe the transit remake part isn't entirely untrue. It kind of looks like the jet gun a little bit. But it shoots, and it's like the BFG where it just kills all the zombies it passes through. It's like one bullet that goes straight, kills all the zombies it passes through. It's I really like that design for a gun. Uh, new hellhounds here. Uh, I don't know what you would call them, but they're not very nice. War machine. So here, here we have a couple things. The war machine is a uh, score streak, which obviously is in zombies. We got the M16 slash M4 or something right here. Uh, we got the, uh, the teddy bear right there. And we've got jug in the background. I think there's like multiple shots of jug in the trailer. So I think that one's jug. I can't remember exactly, but we'll see in a second. Uh, another one of those catalyst style zombies back there. Um, okay, what do we got? Yeah, so that is Jug. That is Jug. We've got a plane wing up here. Uh, we got a shotgun wall by right there. Love that. Absolutely love that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, we've got these, uh, these power arrows that are, that have this, like, dark ether. Dude, it's confirmed to be called the dark ether storyline. Then he whips out. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> score streaks I'm okay with. I don't know how I feel about um, score streaks that you like are just sitting there controlling because you can't use those in solo unless they, the zombies run away from you for some reason. I don't like the fact that there's... I, I'm not a huge fat fan of that, but obviously that's very the, very far in development, so they're probably not going to take it out, so there's no point in really getting upset about it. Uh, so whenever the chopper gunner actually kill these, kills these zombies, they drop these ethereal grenades. Like, every single kill that he gets here drops an ethereal grenade. So, I don't know if that's, like, a perk or if it's, like, an upgrade for the chopper gunner or something. Uh, here's the shot of the Pack-a-Punch. I think I'm right that that little portal actually is the Pack-a-Punch. You know what I mean? That portal is the Pack-a-Punch. Um, 
I think. Anyway, like you basically start off the round by not having pack a punch there, and then you do the whatever the pack a punch Easter egg is. You do that Easter egg to unlock pack a punch, and that's where it is. Do you see how it kind of looks like pack a punch, but it's different? Like it has that little the top part of pack a punch, but it's like broken off. Y'all know what I mean by that? It's like I, I don't know how to describe it. It's literally like pack a punch, but partly broken off. There's no perk limit anymore. Wait, really? Wait, are you kidding me? Is that confirmed? There's no perk limit? Ooh. Wait, you're joking, right? That is that is such good news. If that's true. No perk limit is huge. There's a PlayStation tweet about it. Uh, let me see. Let me see. PlayStation tweet. PlayStation. Uh, first details. Oh, yes. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's see here. Um, PlayStation, yada, yada, yada. So these are the screenshots that we got. Weapon rarity, field upgrades, equipment, lethal tactical. Okay, we'll read. Uh, oh, here, let me scoot this to the side. Okay. Uh, connected thrilling experience across the modes, battle progress, uh, battle pass. You get, uh, you can get a gunsmith crafted weapon of choice via loadout support, weapon rarity, and return to the pack of machines, transforming weapons. All weapons now have a rarity associated with them. The higher the rarity, the damage, the greater the damage output and attachments for the weapons. For the first time, they will allow any weapon in the game to be substantial, uh, sub sustainable in later rounds. So they're actually making guns useful in later rounds. This adds more variety and fun to trying new weapons through wall buys and mystery box. Outside of weaponry, so maybe you start with like a like a gray tier weapon, but you have to buy weapons in the map in order to get like a gold tier weapon to go up into higher rounds. I actually really like that system because like basically if you could just come into the map with the best gun, there's no reason to hit the box. There's no reason to hit wall buys. But if you come in with like a good weapon, but it's only good on lower rounds and it's even if it's like a really good AR, it stops being good at later rounds. That's huge. I think that's huge. Around the map, you can craft, find lethal tactical and support equipment. Uh, Someone had equipment how it's found in multiplayer, like frag grenades, while support equipment is a uh, high powered offensive weaponry. This slide is where you deploy grenade launchers, sentry turrets, explosive bows, even chopper gunners, all tools that can deliver a, mower, uh, deliver a massive power spike when your squad needs it most. So they are, they are lethal and tactical. You can craft and find. So not only can you find a chopper gunner, you can craft a chopper gunner or a war machine. Or an explosive bow. I really like this explosive bow thing. Perks. Classic zombie perks are back with reimagined Cold War aesthetic, including the return of uh, Thomas' favorites like Jug and Speed Cola. There's no longer a limit to how many perks you can consume, so go ahead and crack, crack open a six-pack if you have the points to do so. So are there only six perks on the map? Is that what that's confirming? I don't know if that's what if that's what that is confirming. If there's only six perks. but Or it's just like a six-pack of soda. Like, haha, that's a funny joke. I'm not sure. Instead of perishing to the horde, you now have an option to escape with your life if you're feeling overrun. So we we heard about that. That's later on. Okay. So that's that's everything that we can pick up from that. Okay. Let's keep going with the trailer here, bro. You can. I really like the no perk limit thing. I really really like that. I really really like that. Okay. So here we see an ethereal character. I'm not sure what exactly is going on with an ethereal character here. Like what that does, if that makes sense. But obviously ethereal character uh is confirmed <laughs> question mark oh, hold on two seconds here boys two say hold on two seconds two seconds here boys i i, I j i'm just i just want to render out my uh my trailer reaction because it was because it was, uh, I, I don't know, man. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, chat. All right, we're good to go. Let me render that bad boy out. Export media. There we go. All right, we're good. Uh, all right. Let's see, uh, who's who maybe? Oh, that could be who's who, or it's Elemental Pop. Yeah, that could be Elemental Pop as well. Okay, so uh, you can see he's using an ethereal war machine here. Uh, elemental Pop, so maybe that is, and then it just cuts to Elemental Pop. I think you guys are right. 
It could be uh, zombie blood, who's who, or elemental pop are my three guesses for that. He pops open a soda. Obviously, this is the, the new perk. There's no such thing as that in the old games. I don't think that's uh, electric cherry. I think it's elemental pop. Uh, pack punch gunshot. The ray gun mark one, of course, is back. Woo! Yeah, ray gun. Everybody's type pog for ray gun. <laughs> Hopefully they changed the ray gun, man. I'm so tired of it being trash. <laughs> um, we've got the, the big boy zombie with the hammer and sickle right there. Uh, so this is the radioactive one. So I think that's going to be one of the mini bosses. It seems like there's a couple mini bosses here. A um, couple mini bosses. And then we get a shot of this zombie right here screaming. Can anyone translate that in Russian? Does that mean anything in Russian? I think that... Oh, that's November 13th, I think. Uh, so we got, we got Jug. Obviously, they got to be like, oh, look, Jug's back. Also, it looks like Frank Woods is a playable character. And what are the, what is this jellyfish? Is this the dark ether? Ronald Reagan confirmed. <laughs> is this the dark ether right here? What is that? You know what I mean? You can't kill me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this looks like the Dark Aether, because it looks like the same area, but Dark Aether. You know what I mean? Like, it look, this looks like the same plane wing from earlier, but in the Dark Aether. And it's called the Dark Aether storyline. All right, let's keep, let's keep watching. So many Craig, I love the flow. Craig, if you're, if you see this, I don't know if you will. You probably won't, but if you see this, I love the flow. Johnny's I love so it. So many chapters with Black Ops Cold War. So you're Craig is still writing the story. Embarking on a completely different story within our universe. We've got a new story led by different characters. Could this be Samantha Maxis? Could this be Samantha Maxis? Can we talk about that? I Do we think this is Samantha Maxis right here? I think it is. I think it is. The fact that her name is Sam, she has the accent. It's Ether storyline. She said it's happening again. I think it's We've Samantha Maxis. We've got new Maxis. ways to play. It has to by be, new right? ways of progressing. We've got a different time period. Cold War Zombies wasn't just our opportunity to open up a different chapter. It was our opportunity to elevate the entire Zombies experience. So those it's are shots from the trailer. D-Machine. Yeah, so D-Machine is confirmed the name of the map. First map, the only map they revealed today is D-Machine. As we set out to build something completely new, we were inspired to pay homage to Zombie's undead roots. So this is Elemental Pop the Perk Machine. It looks so out of place. Like over here, bloody handprints, like people dying against that wall. Over here, Elemental Pop. <laughs> to celebrate our origin with one of our most familiar and signature locations. Dr. Untoten. Dr. Untoten. So right here, you can see that uh, little stuffed something. That's like a little stuffed animal right there. So that's very, very interesting. Uh, a few more shots of Nocturne Toten from the outside. So obviously, we're going to be able to play Nocturne Toten from the outside. So that's we easy finished clap. a story, but we're still in that same universe. And this is the next chapter. Uh, obviously, we this already saw the these shots. Black Ops 4. Our characters sacrifice themselves to collapse the multiverse and try and create a singular world where zombies didn't exist. So and that's confirmed. So... Uh, the, that little machine that we saw from those images, that is confirmed to be the, uh, like, uh, Geiger counter. And they were investigating what was going on here. Give Obviously, that's right. a zombie. So, Craig Houston basically confirms there's only one universe. There's one universe, but zombies exist in it. He said they were half right in that they shut down the multiverse. They did that, but the zombies came back. This is a Cold War story and it will be driven by a diverse group of organizations and characters. Players are part of Requiem, a CIA-backed international response team led by Weaver, a Russian-American who will be so familiar to Black Ops fans. Weaver, obviously we know. By the time you arrive on the hunt for answers, the machina will have been ravaged by time. On the surface, so, uh, we... you'll see a boarded-up bunker, but below the surface lies a nefarious set of decades-old secrets primed to upset the global order okay so th they obviously they're kind of going the way of uh of world war ii zombies a little bit 
where it's like they were trying to basically create an army out of these undead soldiers and obviously they succeeded the players will find themselves at odds new pack punch is called the the forge you missed quick revive before we already we, we talked about quick revive with the team of soviet led uh obviously that's the dark ether the right there known as omega group just again that's the so this this again is the pack punch location it's right in the middle here you have to do something to spawn it from the dark ether I love the Dark Ether storyline. I love that, dude. The unexplained anomalies manifesting around the globe. Throw a body onto the pile. Beyond these two warring groups, they'll encounter characters with unknown agendas who operate in the field, delivering insights and intel on this new world's fiction. The intel His voice is so smooth, dude. Receive and recover is a huge um, component. So that this this letter we actually already got during the teaser trailers. So basically all that stuff from the teaser trail or the teaser stuff, the Easter egg hunt stuff that we were doing, all of that is now confirmed to be uh, basically the, what's it called? All that stuff is now confirmed to be like part of the zombie storyline because people were saying, oh, this is this could be Warzone. No, this is, uh, it's, it's zombies. You know what I mean? Um... Okay. Component of our storytelling in Cold War, and for the first time, an so that's the power switch right there. Innovative new. In it will pause the video every second. Yes, it's because it's a breakdown. It's not a watch party. You can you can go back and watch my reaction or watch it on the on the Treyarch channel if you want to watch it straight through. We already Intel did that. Now we're breaking it down. System will make content. So this is the interesting part right here. Okay, hold on. Let, let's let's back it up to the very beginning of this shot. And we'll make content accessible on demand anytime. So that that machine that we saw there a second ago, you're gonna be able to just straight up listen to the storyline, like read the storyline without having to worry about a zombie hitting you in the back or not being able to hear it, basically, which is really really nice. I like that a lot because it's it's one of the most annoying things, uh, and you're actually just gonna be able to get the storyline. You know what I mean? There's a lot to uncover that no one's ever seen before. So hold on. Obviously, I think it's a, I think it's like a particle accelerator or something, or some so, sort of weird dark energy, dark ether like harnesser, basically. Whoa. Let's get, get into the gameplay. That starts. Wall by, wall by right here, right here, wall by on the wall there. Is that the rarity? I wonder if that's the rarity because that one is blue, whereas another one was white. I wonder if it's rarity. Weaver is Samantha's brother? It's possible. That starts with delivering all your favorite elements. Relentless round-based action, the pack-a-punch machine, power-up drops, the mystery box, along with the- Speed Cola. So this is the new look that they have for Speed Cola, basically right here. The new look for Speed Cola is right here. Did I say, did I say rarity? Wait, what, are you guys making fun of me? <laughs> are you guys making fun of me? <laughs> the rarity? Yes, we are. Okay, great. Which of course, guys. Some of our classic perks. So, Speed Cola is back. Jug is back. So, confirmed perks so far. Quick Revive, Speed Cola, Jug, Deadshot Daiquiri, Elemental Pop. So, that's five. We've also taken a so fresh maybe eye to the core gameplay loop perks? to let you drop in and have I hope, fun. I hope it's more than six. The gameplay is classic, but it's going to be tonally quite fresh. So that is the shot of Frank Woods. That is the, this is, I, I'm willing to bet my life on it. This is the dark ether. Quick wee vibe. Shut up, chat. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> oh, I hate y'all so much. Um. You'll find our updates this year have focused on one Free thing DLC above all. Is huge, man. Embracing what makes zombies so much fun. That starts with progression. This year, we've unified progression and loadouts across all of Call of Duty. So this, I really like. If you rank up a, game, a gun all the way in multiplayer, you don't have to go into zombies and use the gun in zombies in order to rank it up. You can already have the attachments ready to go in zombies, which I 
absolutely love. I love that. And you can earn battle pass in zombies as well, Black which is Ops, huge. Cold War. And that means hopefully there's zombies, cosmetics, zombies, skins, stuff like that in the battle pass as well. You know what I mean? That means wherever you play across multiplayer zombies, your global rank and weapons level stays connected. So that, that also means your zombies level is the same as your multiplayer level, your wevel. You will be unlocking weapons and equipment, score streaks that will be usable across the entirety of the game. No more starting with a pistol. Bring in your AR, your SMG, whatever you're feeling. And with all weapons boasting rarity with power levels, you can continue to increase your gun's damage potential however you choose. Every gun has a path to become an uber weapon. An uber weapon. I love Craig Houston's accent so much. Chat. Do we think that the ray gun is going to be the main wonder weapon? Do we think the ray gun is going to be the main wonder weapon? Or do we think the other one is going to be the main wonder weapon? You know what I mean? Like the, the BFG style gun. What do y'all think is going to be like the main go-to one? I think I know the answer, but I want to ask you guys anyway. I think I know the answer, but I want to ask you guys anyway. I think the, wh whatever it's going to, what do y'all think is going to be called? The wave gun? No, they can't use wave gun because that's already, that's already like a thing, right? They literally can't use the wave gun because that's already like <laughs> a used thing. Or could they? Wait, could they? Definitely not the ray gun. The ray gun is just there for fan service. Could be. Did you also, did y'all see any shield parts or any shield in this the entire time? I actually don't know if I saw a shield this entire trailer. Did y'all see it? Did y'all see a shield part this entire trailer? I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. I, I don't think I saw one. Is there no shield in zombies this year? Or maybe it's something that like basically thumbnails and like, uh, like shots of zombies look really, really bad whenever you have a shield on your back. So maybe they just didn't show it because it doesn't look that great. What do y'all think? I, I, I'm, I'm inclined, I'm inclined to be on the train of there is a, there is going to be a shield just because that's so iconic, but it's just not shown in the trailer. That's what I'm, that's what I'm inclined to be on the wave of. You know what I mean? That's, that's my inclination. I don't know if that's right or not. We'll see though. You'll have a lethal, tactical, and support slot. Lethal? Okay, that's huge. I missed that the first time around. Lethal, tactical, and support slot. Lethal, tactical, support slot. Those are the three options for what can happen. Not only can you craft, pick up, or find equipment and support in zombies, but you can now use them in combination, which delivers... Wait, what was that? Hold on. He like used, oh, so he has a different, so the first time he used this, he shot a black hole. This time he's like freezing the zombies. Do you see that? What? So this is like a multi-purpose, multi-elemental thing that you can use that is like your, so your lethal, your tactical, obviously mon monkey bombs. Maybe monkey bombs are a support item. Lethal, ta so or maybe monkey bombs are lethal. So you have like grenade, so maybe you have like, for instance, monkey bombs, this thing, and a war machine. You know what I mean? Those, those are like the three options. That could be really, really cool. That's a specialist? I don't think it's a specialist because you're using it like on your offhand like you would a tactical. That's how they code the game, kind of. As that being a tactical. You know what I mean? But you can now use them in combination, which delivers some insanely fun moments. Traditionally in zombies, the only way out was death. A new x system solves this. So they have a new system. This one, this one, I don't know how I feel about, but I can see, I, I have a situation in which I think it could be good, basically. So th they have a new x system. Um, basically, I think the way it's going to work, right, is say, say you've been playing, you went to round 100. And instead of just saying like, all right, guys, game's over. Let's wrap it up there and die. You can now say, okay, now that we made it to round 100, I want to exfil. So it sounds like it's like not going to be the Easter egg because I, I think the the Easter egg is confirmed. Like they've basically confirmed that the Easter egg is like still going to be a thing. Like Easter eggs are still going to be 
its own separate thing. You know what I mean? Like they, they said that in the in the trailer. I think the exfil system is going to be like, hey, we've made it to round 100. Instead of just like bleeding out and, and dying and just going out like really lame. You know what I mean? They're saying, hey, instead, let's do a system where if you want to just, if you want to go through like a challenge and then leave whenever you're done playing, you can do that. And I personally, I like that more when I think about it that way than basically like you, because it sounds like you can do it whenever. You know what I mean? Do y'all do y'all agree with that? That it sounds like you can literally just jump up and do it whenever you want. I personally like that a lot better than uh, than basically there being like an end goal in zombies. I think it's more of like an optional, like the option is sitting there in case you want to use it, rather than necessarily a like goal, like a thing you do every match. And when I think about it that way, I like it a lot more. What it, what do you guys think? What if Xfil saved your progress? No, it sounds like you get rewards and stuff like that after doing it. No double tap because of rarities. That's that's a good point. Which actually I don't mind. As long as the number one thing I want is I want the guns to actually kill zombies. You know what I mean? I want the guns to actually shoot and I want the zombies to die when I shoot them with my guns. You know what I mean? That's my that's my goal. Things get tense and the squad is in trouble. You have the option to expel to a chopper and earn some rewards. So you earn some rewards if Only you do you can survive a few more rounds of zombie spawns dialed up to 11. I like this. So it get, I, I now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, I actually like it because it gives you the option. Hey, I don't want to go to round 100 and I don't want to do the Easter egg. What's something else I can do? Hey, let's go to round 30 and then exfil and you get some extra rewards if you exfil and you int it intensifies. It's like a boss fight without having to do the Easter egg. It's more ways to play. And I like that. The more, the more that I'm thinking about this, the more that I like this. Again, the chopper gunner is the biggest like red, like red flag for me so far. Everything else I think I like. Everything, like a lot of the stuff I really, really like, the dark ether and stuff, and the fact that it might be Samantha Maxis, I love, but. This is shaping up to be our most epic zombies experience ever. Monkey bomb confirmed. I think that's gonna be a lethal because it blows up, it kills zombies. I think it's gonna be a lethal, not a tactical. I think the tactical is gonna be that little like elemental gun thing you have for the first time post-launch content is going to be free that is so big dude that is so big free zombies dlc i think that zombies this year maybe for hardcore people is going to be a little different than what we're used to but i think the the trade-off and the good part about this is going to be zombies is going to be much more accessible to casual players and i think that's uh, i think that's like huge I think that's huge, personally. I think it's I think it's going to be accessible to a lot of people, and that's really good for zombies. As new maps come out, everyone's going to be able to come along. For and I, that also means zombies might be more popular, which means that more budgets for zombies, and we actually get real cutscenes and not like drawings, basically. The journey as we take them through this storyline. Lastly, canon is canon, and we've put a story to rest. But as you comb through this new universe, don't be surprised if. Some things don't want to stay dead. So that's huge. Craig Houston basically just said that canon is canon. What happened in Black Ops 4 happened. But don't be surprised if things come back from the ether. Because it's the dark ether, right? Who's controlling the dark ether? I don't think we know that. Do we? I don't... We don't know that, right? I... I... I think the dark ether is one of the most unexplored areas of zombies in the zombie storyline. And I think that's huge. I think it's huge. It, it offers so much that, like, new possibilities that, that can happen that haven't happened before. So, again, pack a bunch of spots. This is the most connected and robust zombies experience in history. It also delivers a first for zombies, a fully crossplay experience. Dude, that's so good. Crossplay and zombies is so good. With progression systems that tie zombies to the battle. Yeah, also Samantha. That that line could be used to like also put with Samantha as well. Pass. We're dropping free post-launch zombies content to the community for the first time as well. We're honored to have you with us on this journey. We're glad that you could join us for today's first look. Uh, this was interesting. Hold on. You see how this is like particles are all flying around in the air? That those 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 little red dots, those red lights, kind of like 
uh, like lightning bugs were not there before in this area. So obviously the operators. So really only the two things that I'm a little iffy on, I'm not like a huge fan of, are the chopper gunner and the uh, the fact that there's not necessarily like a main cast and that it's, you use operators. Those are the two things that I'm kind of iffy on. Other than that though, I really like almost everything that I heard here. Pretty much everything. I can't think of anything else that I'm not a fan of. Uh, and everything else that I'm like might be iffy on, we have to wait to hear more because we don't actually know. I really, really like a lot of what I heard here. And uh, zombies, zombies is looking good, dude. Zombies is looking good. Very, very good. Gobblegum system, they didn't say anything about monetization. I think, I think their plan is, basically, since it's free maps, that zombies players care a little bit more about the battle pass because you actually get stuff out of it as a zombies player and you can progress through it as a zombies player. Those, yeah, I, I think I think the the universe, the storyline looks incredible. Uh, upgradable perks sounds huge. That sounds so so cool. The dark ether, so good. A lot of the classic elements are back. Uh, perks look good, dude. There's so much to be excited about here. The zombies look good. The graphics look good. Cutscenes look cool. Samantha Maxis might be back. So much here. Bra zombies look cool. I can't wait to play it. I really really cannot wait to play it, man.